Oops, home prices didn't crash after all. During the fourth quarter of last year, many housing experts predicted home prices were going to crash this year. Here are a few of those forecasts. Jeremy Siegel, Russell E. Palmer, Professor Emeritus of Finance at Wharton School of Business. Quote, I expect housing prices to fall 10 to 15% and the housing prices are accelerating on the downside. Mark Zandi, Chief Economist at Moody's Analytics. Quote, buckle in, assuming rates remain near their current 6.5% and economy skirts recession, then national house prices will fall almost 10%, peak to through. Most of those declines will happen sooner rather than later and house prices will fall 20% if there is a typical recession. Goldman Sachs, quote, housing is already cooling in the US according to July data that was reported last week as interest rates climb steadily higher. Goldman Sachs researchers G10 home prices model suggests that home prices will decline by around 5% to 10% from the peak in the US. Economists at Goldman Sachs researchers say there are risks that housing markets could decline more than the model Yes. The bad news, it rattled consumer confidence. These forecasts put doubt in the minds of many consumers and the strength of the residential housing market. Evidence of this can be seen in the December Consumer Confidence Survey from Fannie Mae. It showed a larger percentage of Americans believed home prices would fall over the next 12 months than in any other December in history of the survey. That caused people to hesitate about their home buying or selling plans as we entered the new year. The good news, home prices never crashed. However, home prices didn't come crashing down and seem to already be rebounding from minimal depreciation experience over the last several months. In a report just released, Goldman Sachs explained, quote, the global housing market seems to be stabilizing faster than expected despite months of rising mortgage rates. According to Goldman Sachs research, house prices are defined buy-in expectations and are rising in major economies such as the US. Those claims from Goldman Sachs were verified by the release last week of two indexes on home prices, Hey Schiller and the FHFA. Here are the numbers each reported. Home values seem to have turned the corner and are headed back up. Ladies and gents, here's the bottom line. When the forecast of significant home price depreciation were made last fall, they were made with megaphones. Mass media outlets, industry newspapers, and podcasts all broadcasted the news of an eminent crash in prices. Now forecasters are saying the worst is over and it wasn't anywhere near as bad as they originally projected. However, they are whispering the news instead of using those megaphones they did previously. As real estate professionals, it is our responsibility, some may say duty, to correct the narrative in the minds of the American consumer. Ladies and gents, that's all we've got time for today. I will continue to debunk the finance bros, the clickbait, and the negative headlines. Please, as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next week.